It's got a beautiful morning. All right, my lovers. We're at a rally, rally in Chelmsford. Here's the queue to get on the fields. <laughs> Be our turn soon. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> oh, cuss. It's cold, mate. It's cold, though. Well, we're doing a competition today. Uh, we're going to do the oldest coin, best coin, most amount of coins, and best relic. Stay tuned, see what we find. Get some luck in the muck. Stu! I've lost Don't think like that, Stu. Think positive. I know you missed that padlock the other day, mate, but, you know. Don't think positive. I know I'm going to lose. <laughs> Someone like it again. Sapphires. So here we are, walking towards one of the fields. And we're doing a competition today, just for a bit of fun. Anyway, let the games commence and let's get some luck in the muck. Let's follow those guys to the treasure. Well, in the past, I've had some quite good finds on these, uh, on these rallies. Hammered coins and uh, medieval seal matrixes. But I've never filmed. And you know that when, to, when I get the camera out today, I'm gonna fuck. So... <laughs> sod's law, isn't it? It is sod's law, yeah, so... Jinxed it, I've jinxed it, so this, this video may never see the light of day. If you're watching it now, it means I found something, so get in! <laughs> Weird, I'll talk to myself in the future. I can't get my head around that. We're still not bloody there yet, it's a long way I walk. It's already 11 o'clock. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, go. Well, here we all are. All getting fired up. It is on. Well, that's play with. Let's get some luck in the mark. I think it's a love token. I think it's a William the Third sixpence. If someone's worn down. Well, I'm about half an hour to an hour in. All I found is that silver coiny thing, which is still very cool, uh, and a few buttons. So just keep plodding along. If you find anything cool, we'll let you know. Wonder how Mike and Stu are getting on. Can't even see him. Hopefully, they're getting some luck of their own. Somewhere out there. Just found Stu. Stu! Yeah. Get up. Um, shotgun cartridges. Yeah, me uh, too. I found, I think it might be a little button. Loads of red ball cans. I think it must be just a button or something. So maddy. Cool. But it looks like it looks like it's got a bit of a design on it, but on the other side you can feel it's got like a bevel on it, so it must be a button, I think. There you go, I'll clean it up for you a little bit. Cheers, mate. Such a nice young man you are, son. Oh, young man. I don't know what that is. Probably a bit. Probably. <laughs> I found a silver coin. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it's completely worn. Was it? Yeah. Oh blimey, how oh, lovely. I think it's a love token. Yeah. I think it's a William the Third sixpence. That someone's worn down. Are you gonna give it to me then? A love token. Take it if you want. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I meant it actually lovely. <laughs> well you're on one knee, mate, so uh, I think she's doing <laughs> you, you're doing the proposing. Do it to you. Again. <laughs> on two knees. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't make any detail on that. Not one little bit. So I think it was a love token. So I've got this like 60... Up in the high 60s, but I bet it's going to be another shotgun cartridge. Yeah, I've, I've been finding loads of them inside of the field. I think I've about six. I take my wedding ring off. Every time I've had a handful of... Oh, classic. Going, and I've got, I can't find nothing. I've got, oh, mm. my, my wedding ring. <laughs> classic rookie mistake. <laughs> Although I did the same, I had my watch on as well, and I was like, I've got to take this sodding watch off because uh, I end up not being able to use that hand. Is she out? No. Still there. It's going to be a shotgun cartridge. Isn't it? There. Oh, for God's sake. 
Another shotgun cartridge. <laughs> uh. Uh, everyone, everyone at home didn't have to watch all that. I've edited it so that uh, that was about a 10 minute dig, guys. So uh, I saved you <laughs> from. Uh, down to five seconds. Yeah, I saved you from. The agony. <laughs> <laughs> Fan cuffs. What you had up, mate? Not a lot. One Georgian. Oh. Buttons and loads of other crackers. Loads of bits of scrap. Naked Jordan. I had this, but I took a photo of this. I thought it was a coin. I thought it was a farthing on the surface. It's oh yeah. A bloody button. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done the same as you. One coin, one button. And other other crap. Well, I'll just add this up. First of all, it's just a piece of plain lead. But look, it's got a hole in the middle. I don't know what that's for. Maybe it was for uh, obviously hanging something from. Don't know how well that's coming out. But still. Um, so yeah, I'll have to do a bit of research and work out what exactly that is. I think it's probably some sort of, well obviously some kind of weight, weighing something down. Maybe still yard weight, I don't know. I have to just double check that. I don't believe this, but there's a hammer just sitting there on the surface. I'm going to say, I reckon someone's, oh no, maybe you haven't. I thought someone might have dropped it. But it's got loads of uh, mud still on it. Oh, look at that. Little Lizzie Penny, I think. Wow. That's in great condition. Oh, super chuffed with that. Excellent. It's made me day. How random. I just, I thought someone had dropped it. It just looked so pristine. Well, someone has dropped it, haven't they, 500 years ago. Maybe a farm worker or someone. Who knows, you dropped it. But now, it belongs to me. Sweet. Woohoo. Elizabeth the first. Look at that. So when I find a coin or an artifact like that, you know, 500 years old, in amazing condition, you just feel euphoric for a while. You, just look, you feel like you're floating on air. The enjoyment of finding something like that is, uh, is unbeatable. And uh, Phil Daniels said it rightly when uh, he said, now I feel happy for the rest of the day. Safe in the knowledge, there'll always be a bit of my heart devoted to it. I think there's probably about 130 people on this rally today. So I count myself very lucky to have found anything because when you look around you can just see all the holes that have already been made and filled in. I'm not sure if it will come out on camera, but you're not left with a whole great deal. I reckon you've probably got about one acre, maybe, each. And that's not in a... That man's on fire. I mean, it's all right. Uh, one acre each when you walk around, but you've just got to then avoid everyone else's holes. But again, with uh, most types of detecting and treasure hunting, um, don't always go out thinking I'm going to find something, but... Because when you do, it makes it feel even better. Now time for a spot of lunch. Whew. You alright? That's muddy. We're mud lovers though, so we don't mind. Give me more mud. I've got your uh, picnic basket out ready yeah. for you. Put it in the sun, yeah, let it get hot, yeah. Well, you know, I did make it for you and pack it for you. Yeah, it so, uh, you well, know, be is, grateful. This is culinary expertise in here, look. Da -da. Oh. Blimey. Two locks. I thought, had a, I thought it was beer for a minute. Roast beef and smoked cheese. Can I swap for an egg sandwich? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Especially your pickle sandwiches from the other day. Oh yeah, no, I've got um, egg sandwiches and jam and cheese. That's what I found. Yeah. Not a lot, but I found a coin. Yay! Which I'm very happy with. And you found a carrot. George, I think it's Mike said it was a George. Let's have a cup of tea while I'm waiting. All dirty again there, yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Farvin is it, George? Yeah. It's like um I think it might be a dumpy. 
don't know, it might not be actually. But yeah, five in, that's alright, that'll clean up alright. Yeah. You won't get a whole lot of detail out of that, but no. still. I've just been in a little river, I've tried and get the date of it, I just couldn't, couldn't get it. Be on the Britannia side, I think. Yeah, it's right just the down the bottom yeah. there, but it's just too worn out. Hmm, 1760, 70, something yeah. like that. Nice. And then that funny looking thing, which I thought might have been an escutcheon off of mm -hmm. the lock, but it's got some kind of pulley, sort of, if something goes in the top there. Don't know about that. It's got, it looks like it's got, oh yeah, I see. Yeah, it looks like it might be a latch yeah. for something. Yeah. It's got to be of age to it though, isn't it, by the look yeah. of it? Well guys, if you uh, if you know, comment below. Can I see what I found? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. You do like a hammer, don't you? Yeah. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, London as well. Very nice. Cheers mate. That was just sitting there, on the surface. Was it really? Yeah, and I, th I was thinking, Someone's dropped it. Yeah. Because it was just perfect, shining away. I think someone's picked, found it, not put it away properly, and it's dropped on the floor. But uh, on the other side, it was a you know a clod stuck to it. So yeah. God knows how that has risen to the surface. Who's that, Queen? Queen Elizabeth I. Yeah. Yeah, happy days. That's well nice, yeah. I know, love it. Here he is. They're getting on. Oh, uh, sixpence, that's it. Hmm. I found a penny. Penny, mm. modern one, or I'll show you. <gasps> oh, nice! Do I have it? Lovely. Oh, mate, that's mint. So it's half time, now we can't move because we're all stuffed with food. But half time scores on the doors. I've got two coins. She's got one coin. Cuffs has got two coins. He's going to show us now. Oh, yeah, cool. 1951, is that? Yeah. Cool, well, they're supposed to be silver, but well, not either. They're uh. Cooper Nickel. Yeah, Cooper Nickel these days, but we talk about silver sixpence. Actually, I, I can't, like, that's quite an unusual design, isn't it? It's a later one. It's yeah. Like 40s, 50s design. But yeah, the GR on it. Monogram. Sweet. That is the uh, contender for artifact of the day. Kind of cool little strap end or something or other. Hopefully, I'm holding out so that we get a few more artifacts this afternoon. Well, as you can see, if you look behind me, there's not many people left. In fact, everyone's nearly gone. And it's only just after lunch. Yeah, look around here, look, there's only a couple of people left. Which means these fields are obviously a bit hard going because everyone's decided they're better off at home or somewhere else. So, uh, well, it means we've got the whole area to ourselves, which could be a good thing or might be a sign that there's not a lot here. But even so, we'll carry on to the end. And we'll have a little competition later to see who won the best relic. Although I'm not holding my hopes up for anything amazing, but we'll give it a go and just show you the real finds that we found on real English soil in this part of the world. So stay tuned for that. So look who it is, it's old Timmy. Old Timmy, you like being called that, didn't you Tim? I, I like being called old Tim. What you got? Ooh, well that's Art Nouveau, isn't it? Bit of Art Nouveau. Lovely, that's Paul really, yeah, it's really nice, take the glove off swapping. Feel the history in my hands. That's beautiful. Do you know what? We're going to do a relic competition today. Yeah. We've done a coin competition and a relic competition. Can and I enter uh, that? you can enter it, and you've won, mate, with that. That is, <laughs> that is a beaut. Yes, congratulations, mate. I'm winning the relic one. Relic competition. Thank you. <laughs> That's lovely. I could look at that all day. That's that beautiful, isn't it? Bit yeah. different. What do you think it is in a button? I think it's a badge because you've got, oh, yeah, got the little you've got the, uh, oh, yeah. brooch because you've got this these two bit points here. That's actually got the uh, maker's mark as well on the back. Yeah, it's all assayed. W and B or something like that. Co. Send it. Send us a picture of those uh, of the hallmarks and uh, yeah, you can date it then, can't we? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, mate. Well done. That's worth coming out for, isn't it? Yeah. Good boy. Just looking for me hammered now. Oh, that's, 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 that's better good. than a hammer. It's nice. It's yeah, nice. I reckon. Well, it depends on the hammer, but you know, that's an individual. Okay, it's been cast at one point in his life, but you know, unusual. Good. Yeah, much much prettier than a than a hammer coin, even though it hasn't, hasn't got the age. But I'll be, I'll be chuffed with that. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. 
had a few musket balls and crotal bells. Um, so just keep going, another hour or so. Yeah. Well done. Let's see if we can get hammered. <laughs> Like you. Everyone's yeah, everyone's left though, haven't they? Have they? Yeah. Apart from that guy shooting. <laughs> What's the time? It's two o'clock. I know everyone's everyone's pissed off with this field and left. So cuffs, last half hour of the dig, he just pulled this up. Nice little cat badge. B and B. I know they Nice little anchor, that's a nice solid lump of something or other. Could be silver, it's got some nice weight to it. Lovely, B, nice B, little find. BB, B. first hole that was. Boys Brigade? B. Yeah, it could be. Don't know. So sort of military, maritime, almost like a kind of police badge look yeah. to it, doesn't it? What well a Mike. Sweet. See what's coming. Yeah. Well, last hole of the day happens to be a silver. And look. It's a little sixpence. Victoria, bow head, a bit worn. But it's all there. I'm sure it's got a date on that. 1897. Get in. Well, we're back in the car now and we're just going to go for our finds, see what we've had up. Starting with me. This is our block of finds. It's good stuff there. I've had four coins in total. These two lot came at the last minute. Warm Georgian and a nice silver sixpence which you saw there. Lovely hammered for, uh, coin, Elizabeth I, I think it's either a penny or a half groat. Give that a little clean, that should come up lovely. Nice uh, portrait on that. Uh, and a silver blank, probably William the third half penny I think. In fact, yeah. I've just noticed, someone that's a bit of, bit of rubbish or actually a number at the bottom there. I think it's just a bit of a discoloration. Um, Artifacts wise, not a lot, just a few buttons and a lead lump and a bit of a buckle and another bit of buckle in the pocket, but um, not great on artifacts, but still, four coins, three silvers, sweet. Can you get up, Stu? <laughs> Me, George, George the first. Oh, yeah. Farthing, farting. Dump issue, we think farthing. Yeah, the artifact of the day. Artifact of the day. And this is uh, part of a, a World War II um, fuse tip. And if you, I think this is one we found similar in the, uh, down there, in the estuary on the hovercraft. So if you've, uh, hopefully I'll put the link in the video and we'll see if it's the same thing. I think it is. Looks like it. So yeah, what well up mate. Mike, put your head up. Uh, nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's an interesting thing, boys brigade badge. That's really cool. Saved your day that, didn't it? Yeah. That's really nice. Quite rare as well, apparently. Really cool. A few buttons. A few coins, two coins. This is a weird, I'm telling you. There's some off penny, but it's not. Oh yeah, it's been shot. That's strange. Cool, that's a good shot, isn't it? If you were uh, aiming for that. That's nice. So you've had three coins up. Is that right? Well, sorry to say lads, I think I've won. <laughs> I've won on most amount of coins and I only won it right at the end there by getting these two, otherwise you would have won it. Um, oldest find is the Elizabeth I sixpence, sorry, penny. Yeah. And I think we could agree it's the best coin as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, and um, yeah, sorry, that was that was embarrassing to win all those three awards. But what can I say? Just thanks to my uh, supporters out there, thanks to my uh, my family for sticking by me, sponsors, my sponsors um, that I don't have, and uh, thanks to you guys for coming out. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next hunt. See you later, mud lovers. I really enjoy finding love tokens, but what actually is a love token? For hundreds of years, young men and women probably have been giving each other these tokens. They would have taken a silver sixpence or maybe a shilling and worn down both sides to be completely flat. Then they would usually bend them into a slight S shape and give them to the prospective loved ones. 
Now if their love was reciprocated, they would keep the coin, but if they weren't interested, they would often throw them away, which is how can we find them? We also find love tokens with letters impressed into them. Maybe this was the initials of the loved one, maybe when they went away, or just as a keepsake and a little memento. All these silver coins are fascinating and they each tell a little story of love or love lost, which is why we like them so much. Is that cannabis? No way! Is that the real deal? Oh my goodness! We got we gotta have some fun this afternoon. <laughs>